Welcome to Tech Wizards Dharma. In this video, we are going to learn how to create clone a SQL instance from existing SQL instance in a GCP. So cloning is a cloud SQL instance creates a new instance that is a copy of a source instance. The new instance is completely independent from the source instance. So this could be a good scenario where you have, let's say, this SQL instance or MySQL or a Postgres instance and you would like to clone it. So this can be production where you are running all those transactions and then you want to run the reports instead of running the same reports on this instance you maybe go ahead and clone it and run your reports so and then you once you are done you can delete it or maybe you want to do some testing and you don't want to run that on your production system in that case you can clone it and then after that run your test and uh, finally you cannot delete it. To clone the uh, instance is very easy. Let's say if you are not on a, here in this interface, so first of all uh, you will go right here to the navigation menu and here you will uh, look for SQL. Once you are there, then you are going to see all those uh, instances uh, you have created. Uh, in my case, I have SQL instance created. Uh, now what you will do, you will create a, a click right there on the instance uh, and then uh, you are going to see the button called the clone. Uh, see right there, the button clone clone is available. Uh, now simply you can go ahead and uh, just click right there and uh, then uh, provide the name of the clone. Uh, so see right there, it took the actual name of this instance and then uh, added uh, dash to it and then clone right next to it so you can simply leave this one as it is and just hit clone there are some things that i would like to share with you about the clone so let's go ahead and take a look on this document so this was the definition i took from here and showed you and you might want to be knowing hey if i create a clone will that impact my performance on existing database instance or not you know so the answer is no cloning has no performance impact on a source instance and uh, there would be you know you can read all those details so your users uh, which are on instance level they will be created your users on the database level they will be copied but uh, you have to provide the passwords so so that's a few of the things that you want to know about that. And if you want to read more detail, you know, you can go ahead and read it. The new IP will be provided to the uh, new clone instance. So uh, you can use it as independently. Now let's go ahead and take a look here. All the settings are going to stay pretty much as it is when you create the clone. I'm going to go ahead and create the clone here and it will take a few minutes and it will be created. So if uh, I will take you to the source uh, SQL instance, uh, what you see here, I'm going to show you some of the information such as uh, I have the users, they will be also part of the cloning. So when, uh, once uh, the new clone uh, SQL instance will be created, uh, these users will be there. So I have a user called Amir, and that will uh, be also there. That's on the instance level. Now this uh, uh, SQL server, that's uh, uh, the default uh, user that when you create the first instance, it got created. So it will Will be also created there as well you don't have to change the passwords for these ones so now you will go to the uh, let's say if you have uh, set some backups and all those kind of things uh, those settings will be go as uh, there uh, there as well in the new one so let's click right there and this tab here and now we are going to see our uh, clone is uh, being updated so it's uh, in the process of being created so you can see right there is cloning right now instead of maybe take it two to three minutes to just uh, uh, create the clone. So if you see right there, the IP address is uh, 35243149, this uh, um, IP, and I can use this IP and uh, then uh, connect uh, by using a SQL uh, uh, Server Management Studio. So we'll go right there, and uh, this is my original one. So I'm going to show you I can connect without any problem. I'm already actually connected, so that's fine but i just will provide the password and username and you can see that uh, i'm connected so it is uh, connected once uh, we have the clone uh, i will connect the clone in the ssms as well and show you so our finally clone is ready and you can see that it took almost seven minutes uh, to create the clone and uh, you will see it has a new ip address here and that's our clone so i can copy the ip from here go to ssms and uh, let's connect to that so we'll use a sql engine provide the ip and then uh, we will use the same uh, SQL Server account and SQL authentication. I'm going to provide the password here. So now we will connect and it is connected. You can see that on my source uh, 
a SQL instance, I have two databases, TBIT and the tech LTBDB. So here, if I will go ahead and take a look, I have uh, both databases there and uh, there was only one table on this uh, database. Um, so that's uh, the table I created the DBO test. Um, you can see right there, it, uh, it is there and uh, it uh, has uh, only two records. Um, if I want to query and take a look, uh, I can see those uh, as well. Uh, now let's go to the, uh, let me just uh, cancel this out. I just double click so it is bringing me definition. I don't need that. Now let me take you to the original screen here in Google Cloud and uh, you can uh, click right there and see some properties. Um, as I said that uh, users will, uh, instance level users will be copied. So you can see right there, I went to the clone right there and uh, my users are there. Now, if I will have backup settings and all that, uh, they will be copied as well. Uh, so no backup will be copied, but the settings. Uh, so in uh, my previous, uh, I have a disabled automatic backups, uh, uh, and uh, this is the same happen in the clone uh, instance. Um, same uh, databases, uh, all the databases what we have in the source, they are there. Um, so now you can use this clone maybe for uh, uh, some testing purpose or maybe creating the reports and uh, go from there. Now, this was one of the way you, when you want to use the console or this uh, graphical user interface to create the clone. If you don't want to do this from here, you have opportunity to do by the uh, G Cloud command. So see, same page, I'm right here on the SQL Server and I'm going to click right there, G Cloud. I can uh, right here provide my source instance and uh, let me just refresh because uh, I have provided some values last time and I was doing this uh, testing and uh, look at this one so I will so go to the SQL and uh, here I will say source instance name and then I will say target instance name uh, let's go back here and uh, if uh, we want to create this one as a source so my source uh, database sorry my source uh, SQL instance uh, is this and then uh, maybe create another one. So I'm gonna just paste it here. And then uh, for target, maybe I give a uh, Amir a SQL to or uh, clone, something like that. So I can use this one. Now I will uh, copy this and uh, then go back to the uh, URL here and then uh, we will open the shell from here. I'm gonna minimize this part. Uh, so here uh, we are connected uh, and uh, to the shell and uh, I can paste my query there and uh, you see right there uh, my query is saying that G cloud SQL instances clone and uh, this is my source and uh, the next one is uh, my uh, target so I can go ahead and hit enter and once I hit enter what's gonna happen is gonna start creating that uh, SQL instance for me. I'm going to click right there on SQL and you will see now I should have uh, three instances. Uh, the two of uh, this is very first one. This was second what we created from the console and this is the one we are creating with the G Cloud command uh, that we just ran right there. Amir uh, uh, SQL to clone. So you see right there it is uh, uh, being updated. Um, so it's going to take around like four or five minutes and then it will be done as well. This will have exactly same type of properties uh, what we have uh, from the source. Uh, so not a di difference is just uh, creating uh, by using a G Cloud command. So I hope uh, this uh, video is helpful to you and uh, you will be able to use this clone feature in a, a SQL instance on the GCP to create the clones uh, for your testing purpose and uh, for your reporting purposes. Uh, I thank you for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.